Where are we going? Drop me off at the airport. <laughs> going to World Race Training Camp. <laughs> Woo! This is my first time traveling solo and I must say I'm killing it right now. Hello, it is me, Anna, post training camp, Anna. And I want to just <laughs> warn you. I mean, get you excited for training camp. <sighs> so basically, if you're watching this video, you probably have no idea what training camp is or what to expect. And that would make you a lot like me before I was at training camp. And I was just so naive and I was so excited and I was just thinking about seeing my friends and learning about the Lord and sleeping in my tent and using all my gear. And I was so excited and you should be excited for that part. That's a really great part of training camp. <laughs> um, but there's a lot they don't tell you. And I know that that's because they want you to be excited and to not have all the secrets spoiled. And I'm not gonna do that in this video because I do think there's some parts of training camp that should remain a secret. Um, and I'm not gonna give you details but I just want this video to be not actually a warning, but just like a heads up of things that you're gonna wanna be in prayer um, in prayer on beforehand and things that you can just sort of mentally prepare yourself for because I know that if I would've had a better understanding of training camp, it would've been a much smoother transition into it and a lot could've been prevented for me mentally. Um, overall, I don't look back on training camp and like shudder and be like, Ugh. I don't want you to go into training camp fearful. There was nothing scary about it. It was just uncomfortable and hard, but it's also, it stretches you in so many ways. And I guarantee you, you're going to know the Lord more when you leave. And that's the ultimate goal of everything in life. And you're going to love your team and your squad. And it's just a really cool time. And you're going to grow a ton. Number one, the climate. So I was at training camp in July and training camp is in Gainesville, Georgia at Adventures and Missions. In July, it's very hot and it's very humid, which means you're sweating all the freaking time. Bring a ton of baby wipes, um, bring face wipes, bring all the wipes. Bring a water bottle because there will be water available everywhere you go. They're not gonna like test you to see what you would do if you didn't have water available. Like you're gonna have water all the time. Um, so bring a nice big water bottle that's gonna stay cold and you'll be fine in the heat. Um, two, be okay with being dirty. You're gonna be dirty a lot. Get yourself in the mental process of just denying yourself. That's the biggest thing I had to put into practice at training camp was denying myself daily, picking up my cross daily. And when they have you doing yoga on the floor of this space that you eat all your meals in and you're doing a chaturanga in a floor of dirty rice, you're gonna have to deny yourself. But you're going to, and you're gonna enjoy it because you've been so hot and so tired that it feels good to take some deep breaths, even if you're surrounded by some ants and someone smelly chacos next to you. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. But note, daily, okay? Don't pick up your cross for the next nine days. Don't pick up your cross for the next nine or 11 months. Just pick up your cross for that day. Understand that you are sacrificing comfort and familiarity um, to learn something new and to do what the Lord wants to do in you. And don't be so cut up in the next nine months. I kid you not, day one, I was like trying to figure out if I was gonna survive the nine months or not. And God was like, Anna, stop. I called you into this. You're going to survive. Be present, be focused on the day and what it brings and move on from there the food <laughs> so i lost seven pounds at training camp you know awesome except it was totally unhealthy because it was just i wasn't eating enough because i don't give you a freaking enough for food seriously you guys <laughs> we were extremely blessed we had a concession stand it was a fundraiser for one of the staff members adoption so we had an opportunity every other day to buy like cliff bars or like little like chips or Gatorade. They had like Starbucks drinks, like all this super nice stuff for us to buy. Um, so bring your own money, especially if they have a concession stand. But if if we didn't have that, I I mean, and sometimes it's gonna be 95 degrees out and you're gonna show up at lunch and you're starving because you haven't eaten since breakfast and they're giving you soup, hot soup. You're gonna hate it, but you eat it and you go with it because it's food and you're hungry. And really that's what's gonna be like on the race. You're gonna just have to eat what you're given and enjoy it. 
you're gonna have a lot of rice and a lot of bread a lot of curry on india day holy crap you're gonna have a lot of curry it, bring a lot of snacks i brought enough protein bars to have one every day and then i ended up buying more at the concession stand i bought a bunch of protein bars and some people are like no enjoy it be present like eat what they have get used to it be adventurous and i'm like bro when that's my only option in freaking africa i'll do it but right now i've got a cliff bar on my bag and hmm, i'm gonna eat that <laughs> you'll just sort of get used to feeling hungry but you're also so busy during the day that you're not always thinking about it so it's just frustrating when you're like hungry sweaty and dirty and tired at the same time and you're just like oh you just get used to it also the porta potties that will be your mode of bathroom for 10 days so just get used to it there's no advice i can give for you there it's disgusting you just deny yourself and pick up your cross daily and go <laughs> okay so this next one's kind of serious but it's not because remember the important part is that we as christ followers have already won the victory because jesus defeated the grave and he wins and the battle is won that being said, spiritual warfare. I'm just slowly scooting in for this one. The spiritual warfare that I experienced personally was something I hadn't experienced before. And it doesn't mean that everyone who goes on the Adventures and Missions campus is gonna be bombarded by Satan because you're about to go on world race. It just means that he's gonna use his schemes to freak you out or at least try to. And that's one of those things I wish I would have known in the beginning, because I would have been praying against it. I went in totally naive, not expecting any of that. So I wasn't prepared at all. My advice would be to just be in prayer, praising God for who he is, and asking him to remind you and encourage you of the affirmation he's given you for world race. Because the enemy doesn't want all of us going and sharing the hope of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth where people may have not even heard of it yet. Um, Satan doesn't want that because we are truly a force to be reckoned with. We have Christ on our side and he is the ultimate winner. He already has one and Satan hates that. So he wants to discourage us because he knows he already loses in the end. So we're not going to let that happen. So just be in prayer. Have your whole squad. You probably have a group chat by now. Um, have them all commit to praying each day for each other and for themselves against warfare. Um, it's not unbearable. I did not feel anxiety. Um, you saw in my last video that I had experienced some anxiety in the preparation process for World Race. It was not like that. Um, so don't let that be your fear. I know as someone who struggled with anxiety, anytime I think about anxiety coming back, it's like the scariest thing. That is not going to happen to you, okay? Um, it's just things like during worship sometimes I'd have these thoughts of like, is God even real? Why are you doing this? Is this even worth your time? Why are you here? How are you gonna make it 10 days? Can you even do it for nine months? And I was like, Gah! those aren't my thoughts. I've never, I've had doubts about the Lord, but I don't think I've ever doubted his existence. So when I heard that come into my head, I was like, huh, that wasn't me. That was the enemy. And he's trying to freak me out and to get me totally separated from what's going on here, cause it's that good. So when you have those thoughts come, don't be discouraged. It's normal. I had multiple people on my team struggle with that. The enemy is going to throw lies at you to get you to quit and you're not going to quit. You're going to endure it. You're going to enjoy it and you're going to freak Satan out. He's literally going to be trembling under your feet because you're going to be worshiping Jesus for 10 days, preparing for missions, which is what Satan wants to stop. So don't freak out. Don't be discouraged understand that this is the world we live in it is run by satan and we are set apart from that and so we're able to recognize when there's something different don't go into training camp thinking i'm gonna experience warfare go into training camp thinking i'm really glad i've been warned about warfare that people have experienced and i rebuke that in jesus name i'm praying over you i truly am going to be praying for all training camps um, as i know that they're starting because it can be a time of huge growth just make yourself open to it sacrifice everything you think that you want and just go in open-handed and understand that it's okay to be dirty it's okay to be sweaty it's okay to be hungry it's okay to be really uncomfortable in a freaking porta potty on a 95 degree day it's okay we all are also prepare yourself to fall in love with every single person on your squad because you're going to outfit change it's been like two weeks um but i just have more stuff to add to this video, not a lot, but my phone died when I was recording, so here I am now. Anyway, meeting your squad is going to be so exciting, and that's the one thing that the Lord was really using to get me through all of training, was being like, Anna, all of your fears 
are legit and they're real, but you're gonna be walking alongside so many other people going through the exact same thing. I just remember seeing them all in the airport for the first time and it was so exciting. I was so full, like my heart was so full because you message these people and you stalk all their social media, everyone does it. And then getting to know all of them and hear their testimonies and it was just the coolest thing. I don't know, that sort of been my crutch is realizing that this is such a blessing from the Lord to have these nine months with these people. So whenever more fears come up and I'm now in this window of seven weeks in the US, now I have only four and it can be stressful at times. So it's so important for me to like sit back, reflect on what the Lord has already done, remember his faithfulness and his goodness and then walk forward and sort of take it one day at a time. So part of me is hypocritical in saying that because I have so many moments of like, Pfft. but that's really something I've been working on and I think the Lord's really been gracious to me in that because he has given me a lot of peace that I didn't think I would have in this season and excitement. And I should note that not everyone felt like training camp was such a struggle. But like one of my friends said, those are the best 10 days of my life. And I was like, what? <laughs> my point of this video was not to make you nervous. It was just to be like, here's what to expect because now you can pray on it. It's not something to go into naive. Go in totally ready for whatever the Holy Spirit's gonna do. Go in ready to be broken down, ready to be uncomfortable, but also know it's an exciting time. And maybe now like knowing those things going up, it won't be as shocking to you and you'll actually probably have a lot easier of a time at training camp. I didn't feel like horrible the whole time. I hope I'm not making it sound like that. I just know every day I had to remind myself, okay got this and it really is what you make it so use it as time to grow with the Lord and rejoice in him because he gives us joy even when you're in a freezing cold bucket shower and then two seconds later you're sweating he's there too. get hype because world race is happening you're doing it so now I'm gonna put in just like some pictures and videos I got from training I didn't record much I was just trying to like be present enjoy it but yeah I just hope this was a blessing to you I hope that the Lord uses it to prepare you I will see y'all in the next video have a fabulous day smile if you're not smiling yet and know that you're so loved and cared for by the Lord be excited and have a wonderful time I'm excited for you bye bye Here's all my friends! <laughs> Check out who I found! Hi. The OG! So that's exciting. Wow. 10 pounds? I really bring like 25 <laughs> snacks. Bring them all! <laughs> like plan for like four a day. So right here, yep. we got cricket, mom, mommy cricket. I know, I don't know. Um, Ella, so we're, eating for breakfast. we're eating muffins and apples and cereal and I'm crying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>